pa campaigners protest outside Labour HQ in central London. A crowd waving British flags and placards braved the elements for the protest organised by the campaign against antisemitism. Messages on placards read, Zero tolerance for antisemitism, Labour hold. Corbyn to account, and, antisemitism is racism, there were shouts of Corbyn out, racists, and, shame, and boos when the Labour leader was named by speakers. There were also boos for Momentum leader John Lanceman and Christine Shawcross, the former NEC member who resigned after backing a party member accused of antisemitism. At one stage, a man was led away from the demonstration by police officers who confiscated what appeared to be a Weapon. Labour must show that Jeremy Corbyn is bound by the same rules as leader as he was. As a backbencher Gideon Falter the campaigners have accused Mr Corbyn of bringing the party into disrepute after he acknowledged it had been too slow to deal with cases of anti-Semitism and apologised for the hurt it had caused. He also said he would never be anything other than a militant opponent of anti-Semitism, Gideon. Falter, chairman of Campaign Against Antisemitism, said, Labour must lead by example and show that Jeremy Corbyn is bound by the same rules as leader as he was as a backbencher, by investigating the disciplinary complaint. We have filed against him for bringing the party into disrepute, Mr Falter criticised the response from Labour's general. Secretary Jenny Formby, and said, we will demonstrate on Sunday outside Labour head office, demanding that Labour fulfils its duty to hold Mr Corbyn to account, and we will of course appeal, PAC campaign against anti-Semitism activists led. The protests earlier, Shadow Education Secretary Angela Rayner said she was frustrated that action to implement Baroness Chakrabarti's recommendation on tackling anti-Semitism in Labour had not been fully acted on. She said, Jeremy Corbyn has been quite clear there's no place for anti-Semitism in our party but I have been a little frustrated that we haven't moved forward on the Chakrabarti report as fast as I would have liked to have seen, but Jenny Formby, our new general secretary, made it her number one priority and we need to make sure that the full Chakrabarti report is implemented and we have absolute zero tolerance. It can't be right when people see on social media, and it's not just in the Labour Party but across the board, anti-Semitic rhetoric and they see no action taken or the action is far too slow. Pa Jeremy Corbyn has acknowledged his party's failings on anti-Semitism. Meanwhile, Lord Sugar was among a group of peers to urge Scotland Yard to investigate online anti-Semitic abuse by supporters of Mr Corbyn. The cross-party letter to Metropolitan Police Commissioner Cressida Dick highlights unambiguous examples of hate speech on Facebook groups set up to back the Labour leader. Lord Sugar, who quit the party three years ago, said Mr Corbyn was dangerous.